Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from a Small Academy and I welcome you to another Android Studio tutorial. And in this tutorial today, we're going to learn how to reset the user password once you logged in the user successfully into the your application using Firebase authentication. So to be able to do this, user must be logged into our application. So he must have a account and he should be logged into our application. Then only he'll be able to reset his password, okay? This video is extension of the Firebase authentication tutorial that I have uploaded on the channel and a lot of people ask me to uh, create videos on a further advanced topics. So I had created video on how to reset the forget forgotten password and how to send the reset password email to your Gmail account. And I have also covered the part where I have uh, verified the user's email so i have done that all in the previous videos so if you want those videos then you can uh, go to the playlist that i'm going to link in the description and also i'm directly going to use the uh, firebase authentication source code and the application that already have the firebase authentication implemented so if you want that source code i'll also link that source code link in the description and if you want full detailed tutorials on that you can go and watch the uh, playlist from the beginning so that you'll understand what I have implemented on the application that I'm going to use here let's get started so first I have opened the source code in my Android studio so this is the source code of the previously uh, created application that is Firebase authentication application so this Firebase authentication application implement the login and register of the user using Firebase and I have connected this application to a Firebase project and i have done all those things in the previous videos on the playlist so please go ahead and watch that if you want to do that otherwise if you don't want to do anything extra and just want to learn how to uh, implement this uh, password reset option then you can just download the source code and open in your android studio then you can follow along with me on this video all right so let's get started uh, here uh, what i want to do is i want the user to be able to uh, reset his password all right so initially we have let the user created the account and they can set their own password right so uh, i'm going to open the layout file here and here in the activity register we have the multiple fields that we have given to the user so fields like name email password and phone number so you can see we have full name email password and phone number and i have taken this data and I have inserted that to the Firebase collection from there I am fetching this data and displaying them in the main activity so if I show you the main activity here you can see we have user profile sections and your uh, username email address and phone number all right so what I want to do here is I want to give one more option to reset the password all right you can give this uh, reset option anywhere you want as long as you write the correct code to reset it all right so uh, it is really easy to reset password so i'm just gonna drag and drop one button here uh, adjust into this logout button okay uh, otherwise what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna place this button just after this logout button okay so let's uh, fix the constraint all right so uh, i'm here i'm gonna change the id of this button so that we can use this button in the main activity so uh, reset password local okay so let me copy this and let's go back to the main activity i'm going to close all these uh, act, uh, files that are open here which is not required actually so we only need this main activity now uh, here i'm going to get the xml resources first so first i'll create the button variable here so i already have one button uh, variable created here i can actually write another uh, variable name just there but uh, just to show you i'm going to create another button and reset password reset pass local is a variable name that i want to give now i want to bind the xml resources with this variable so reset reset password local and i'm going to use find viewer id r.id ID, and reset password local is the id of our xml resources all right so now using this uh, reset pass local i can um, 
you know handle the click on this button so just after this i'm gonna go here all right uh at the end of this on create method here i'm gonna handle the click on the reset button so reset and i'm gonna add the set on click listener so this is the anonymous click listener for the button so new on click listener and inside this i can handle or i can uh, do something once the button is clicked okay so inside the on click method i'm going to uh, reset the password or i'm going to give the interface to reset the password so to be able to reset the password uh we can have multiple options we can send the user to the new activity and there will uh, let the user enter his new password and reset there but instead of doing that the uh, better method i think is to use the pop-up menu so as if you have come from the previous videos and you may have seen me using a pop-up dialog to uh, reset the password and uh, verify the email just like that so here i'm going to use the pop-up and uh, inside that pop-up we'll have one option to add the new password field so let's create the pop-up menu pop-up dialog actually and there we will let the user reset the password okay so we already have the source code for that so i'm going to go to login here and i'm going to look for the alert dialog or pop-up dialog okay so this is the dialog that i have previously written here so i'm going to copy this don't worry i'm going to explain what this code is doing in the main activity so inside this i'm going to paste it and click on ok now uh, here we are having one edit text inside our pop-up dialog we are creating the alert dialog here and we are integrating this edit text with inside this uh, alert dialog so you need to understand that we are not using any xml resources for this alert dialog we are just directly uh, using java code to define the edit text and the view so that's what we are doing here so the edit text is our view and we are integrating that edit text with this alert dialog okay so here uh, just creating the alert dialog uh, edit text for the reset oh, so i'm gonna remove uh, i'm gonna rename this now uh, here i need to change this so here you can see we are uh, assigning the view as the new edit text so uh, once we run this application you will understand what uh, we are doing here so here i'm gonna change the title so this is the title of the alert dialog so it says reset password so actually we are resetting the password so here instead of uh, asking user to enter email I'll, I'll just ask user to enter the new password so enter here uh, we are just uh, setting the edit text view to the alert dialog so this will merge the edit text with the uh, alert dialog so this is password reset dialog is the na variable name of the alert dialog here now uh, as you know alert dialog will always have two button one is positive button and one is negative button so positive button is for the uh, positive response that is yes or no and a negative for the no so that's what i have done here so password alert dialog dot set positive button and yes is the text that is going to be displayed in the in the alert dialog and here i'm getting the value of this edit text using the variable name so this is the reset password variable name and paste it here so reset password or the get text to a string that means i'm uh, extracting the data that user have entered in this reset password edit text field now inside this i'm going to write the code to reset the password so this is the password new password okay so let's give the name as new password okay now to reset the password we need to get the currently logged in user first so uh, i don't think i have the user variable here so i'm going to get the current user okay so i do have this user here so this is the currently logged in user we are getting using the firebase auth uh, instance of firebase authentication and we are getting the current user right but this uh, firebase user is not uh, public and i can't access that there in the uh, this method here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this the global variable so i'm going to remove the final and copy this from here to here okay and make this user all right now i can use this user object to reset the password so let's go back to our uh, password dialog 
reset dialog or uh, error dialog here and i'm gonna use the user object user dot now we have the special method called object password and here i need to uh, set uh, i need to pass the new password as a parameter so new password okay now i need to add the event listener so in in case of the successful execution of the password reset option will display some message and in case it is failed will display some message to the user all right so let's add new on success listener so once the password is reset successfully will display some message to the user saying that um, your password has been reset successfully and in case the password reset of uh, process is failed will add the on failure listener so new on failure listener okay in case of failure will display the same toast message saying that password reset failed all right okay so uh, this simple five line of code will do the trick and it will reset the password and if user click on no it starts going to uh, close the error dialog so we can here we are creating the dialog and we are displaying it all right so this is how we reset the password so let's uh, run this application and uh, see how it's going to work okay so i'm gonna run this my device is connected here and i'm gonna run in my phone okay okay guys the app is running now and you can see this is the initial uh, interface that we get so we have this uh, user logged in here name because and the email is because and something and the phone number and he has not verified his email so it is displaying something like that if i click on verify now it's going to send the verification email so if you want to learn about that you can watch the previous video on the playlist okay but we are focusing on reset password here so now if i click on reset password it should give me this option here so to enter the new password so it says enter the new password should be six character long and so on so if i click on no it's just going to dismiss it just like what we have done here just close it but if you want to reset it i'm going to type the new password here so let me type the new one okay so this is my new password now if i click on yes it should reset my password and next time i should be able to log in using this password so click on yes and we'll figure it. we'll find out what happens so it says password is set successfully so now i'm going to log out from here so let's log out now i'm in the uh, login screen now i'm going to type the email so this is my email and the password the new password is because one two three and click on login it should log me in okay so this is how we reset the password guys and uh, I'm also getting a lot of requests on this uh, profile picture here. User want me to, uh, a lot of subscribers want me to create a video on how to upload the uh, profile picture and display it here and how to change it and so on. So I'm going to create video on that in the next uh, part maybe. So watch out for that. And for now, this is it. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe. And bye bye. Have a good day.